Hi, this video will talk about um, translating a figure on the coordinate plane. Uh, before we jump into some examples, I just want to say um, what the word translate means. The word translate means to slide. Um, so you're just kind of sliding something across the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is this x-y axis that you can see in front of you. Um, and there are a bunch of transformations that I'm going to make videos about. Translations is one of them. The other transformations are rotations, reflections, and dilations. And the, the word transform means to change. So there's different ways that we can change figures. We can slide them, we can flip them, we can turn them, and we can make them bigger or smaller. So those are the transformations that you usually study in uh, high school geometry. Um, the thing about translations, which is what this video is about, um, is that the shape will be the same. The original figure and the ending figure, the shape and the size, are going to be exactly the same. They're not, it's not going to change it. The other part is that um, the orientation is the same. So if you look at the triangle on the coordinate plane now, um, segment DE is straight up and down. And so that means when we're finished translating this, our figure, our segment DE will still be straight up and down. It won't be turned at all. Um, a word that you might see um, that represents this shape is the same. The word um, in math that they use is rigid. Um, so it just means that the shape does not change in size and it does not change um, in the way that it appears. So the, you'll see the word rigid, a rigid transformation. Um, all right, so let's uh, just jump right in. Our directions here are written in words for this problem. The next three problems are going to show different ways that they might give you the quote-unquote directions. Um, this is probably the most straightforward um, and easy to understand. They're asking us to translate or slide the triangle here one unit left and six units down. So the easiest way to go about that probably is to just simply take each point that they have. So if we start with D, we are going to go one unit left and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And the way that we label our um, final resting points is we do D prime. We put a little apostrophe and the math word for that is D prime. I'm going to go over to E, one unit left, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to label that point E prime. E went to E prime, D went to D prime. And then our last one is F. We go one left, one, two, three, four, five, six and that would be F prime. Then we can connect these and we have a triangle. And again, the same size and shape and orientation as our original one, that was really bad. I don't do well without rulers, clearly. Sorry about that. Um, but you can kind of just see that we took this and we just slid it that way. And this is the words that described it. All right, let's move on to, to another one. Whoops, um, whoops. All right, in this example, the um, we still have a graph, we still have a triangle on it. We have the word translation, so we know what, that we're going to be sliding this. And notice that there are no words anymore. It's just simply um, a parentheses with two numbers in it. So just as a quick um, reminder of what that means, in algebra, you learned uh, that a parentheses with two numbers separated by a, by a comma is a, um, called an ordered pair. The first number always represents x, and the second number always represents y. Um, and that just corresponds with the graph. If you look, we have an x-axis here, and we have a y-axis there. Um, so whatever the first number is, the x, it is going to tell you whether you are moving right or left. And how do you know which that is? Well, if the number in the x position is positive, you're going to move it right. And if the number in the x position is negative, you're going to move it left. Um, similarly, for the second number, if you have, um, sorry, the second number represents y, and the y-axis, if you notice in our picture, goes up and down, and so that's what the, that number would represent. If the number in the y position or the second number is positive, you're going to move the point up. If it's negative, you're going to move it down. So if we go back and look at the problem in front of us, we have an x of 3. It's positive, so that means that we're going to, to move this right 3. And our y value is 1, and it's positive, so we're going to move this figure up 1. So the same as on the first example. I'm going to start with the t, just because that's the one I see first. We're going to go right 3, 1, 2, 3, up 1, put a dot, label it t prime. We go to r, 1, 2, 3, up 1. Notice that r prime is sitting on top of t. That happens sometimes. Don't panic. It's okay. And then finally for S, one, two, three, up one, 
label that S prime. See if I can do a little bit better without a ruler. It's better than the first one. And there you have it. And you can clearly see that this just kind of slid that way. And this was the directions kind of in some math notation there of how to do that. All right, let's look at another one. No figure, whoops. So here's another set of notations. This one I feel is fairly concrete. It's saying to the for the X, because we're adding four, you're gonna go in a positive direction. So you're going to be going right four. For the Y, they're saying, hey, you need to add six to that. Well, adding six on Y is gonna make it go up six. So again, each point, we're gonna go right four and up six. So I'll start with T. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, it's the part I like about this is once you understand you understand the notation, it's just a matter of kind of processing it and then counting. So I like that. We'll go to U. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's U prime way up there. And then V, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's V prime. Connect them up. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Um, the figure should look exactly the same shape or size and um, should just look like it got slid that way and it certainly did. All right, and the last one is very, very similar to this one. The main reason why I wanted to bring it up is if you look at the X, there, it's not telling you up or down, it's just plain X. So that's saying that this figure is not gonna move sideways at all. It's saying that we had an X value we're keeping that, so we're not moving it sideways. We're only moving it up or down. If we look at our Y value, are we moving it up or are we moving it down? Well, because we're subtracting the three, when you subtract something, you're gonna go down. If you're going to add it, you're going to go up. So in this case, we're subtracting three, so all we have to do is take each of the points and just move it down three. All right, so again, if we look at M, one, two, three, there's our M prime. Go to J, one, two, three, there's J prime, L, one, two, three. Again, it's you don't have to sit here and listen to me uh, count, but um, that's it's mostly about the notation and making sure that you understand the notation. Um, and if you have followed along with these, hopefully you're feeling good about that. Okay, thank you.